Have you ever wondered, if everything we see is made of matter, could there be an opposite version of it? A mysterious kind of matter that looks identical, but destroys everything it touches? That's antimatter, and it's absolutely real. Just as ordinary matter is made of atoms, electrons, protons, and neutrons, antimatter is made of antiparticles. A positron is the opposite of an electron, same mass, but positive charge. An antiproton is the opposite of a proton, same mass, but negative charge. When matter and antimatter meet, they annihilate each other, releasing a burst of pure energy in the form of gamma rays, exactly as predicted by Einstein's E equals mc squared. Think of it like digging a hole on a flat surface. When you remove the soil, you're not just creating a hole, you're also forming a small mound from the displaced Earth. In the same way, for every particle of matter, the universe forms a mirror counterpart, an antiparticle, balancing the equation of existence. Right after the Big Bang, the universe should have created equal amounts of matter and antimatter. If that were true, they would have destroyed each other completely, leaving behind only energy and no universe at all. But look around. Stars, planets, you and me, all made of matter. So where did all the antimatter go? Scientists call this the matter-antimatter asymmetry, and it remains one of the biggest unsolved mysteries in physics. If matter and antimatter together turn into pure energy, does that mean both were once united as energy itself? In 1928, Paul Dirac predicted antimatter while merging quantum mechanics with relativity. A few years later, in 1932, Carl Anderson discovered the positron, confirming Dirac's bold idea and forever changing how we understand reality. Antimatter isn't fiction, it's real, rare, and perhaps the key to understanding why the universe exists at all.